Right, here at Vario City, we've just found a new friend. This is probably the biggest Vario library bus I've seen. The overall length is 7.85 meters from the rear right to the front, so it's very big. Great capacity. Of course, it's a seven and a half ton gross weight, which means you can drive it on grandfather's rights, world class one. I was hoping to find the uh, weight plate there, but I have already looked at the logbook, so I already know that. That's a fact. That's the diesel heater running at the minute. I'm just trying the stuff on board. <laughs> to my surprise, it's got brand new chassis batteries on it and near enough brand new leisure batteries as well, which is pretty unusual uh, for a library service vehicle. Body works really good on this vehicle. Right. Obviously the bonnets on these Varios usually go. This one's really good. I've just been underneath the bonnet and having a look at the engine bay. No corrosion there at all. I will give you a quick look at that actually. Got twin captain seats in the front. Not the nicest seats in the world, I have to admit. Okay, there's the bonnet catch. She's the five-speed manual transmission, which if you know about Varios, that basically means that it's the one before all of the terrible electrics came in. Add blue, all that sort of jazz. And we're in. See, lip on the bonnet's looking really good. This area on the bulkhead, always keep your eyes out for that on these vehicles. But yeah, this one's in really, really nice condition. 2019 tires on the front, both with excellent tread. Obviously on the front, they need to be within 10 years old. So there's plenty of life left in those. 73,000 kilometers, what's that like 40,000 miles? It's hardly doing any work. We do do a proper inspection report here, but I did actually just go over it briefly. All of these things work. These are a common fault on these vehicles. It has got a tachograph on here. If you're not using it for a higher reward, of course, you don't need to use that. Most people will be thinking about turning this into a camp fam, right? There's the 90 to control. We've got a power inverter on board which, if I remember correctly, is here. 1,000 watt power inverter. That's just there. So that's going to support the plug sockets when you're not hooked up. Just lighting, scene lights for the outside. Bits and bobs on the inside. In fact, no, that isn't scene lights on the outside. So I'm just so used to ambulances having those buttons and them being outside. It's a bit, it's a little bit, um, for lack of better terms, minging. It could do with a bit of a clean, but I mean, let's face it, everyone's gonna rip this vehicle out and turn it into something magical. The internal length is kind of remarkable on this as well. So we've got 5.9 meters from the back of the driver's seat to the rear, 2.25 meters wide, and standing height is 2.06 meters. So, we're in backflip territory here. So yeah, this was just a quick look around this van. I'm sure this is gonna get snapped up. Such nice mileage, such great condition. I'm gonna to have to show you the underneath because yeah, it's something else. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. And also, it doesn't have air suspension, which in the past has been a deal breaker when I've been selling these vehicles. So once again, another bonus. It is quite a cool looking vehicle. So yeah, great addition to Vario City. Any questions, hit me up.